Hi, I'm Jen Tackney. And I'm Jeff Tackney. And, and we're, we're Team, Team Tackney. Tackney. Today, we're talking about purchasing investment property in Garden Grove, California, and the ins and the outs, and why it's a great idea to buy an investment property in Garden Grove, California. Yeah, and Jennifer, do you have an example of uh, an investment property that was purchased and sold in Garden Grove? I do have an example, and this is an investment property that was actually a flip. So there are different ways of purchasing investment property you can buy and hold, and this same scenario would actually work really well yep. for buying and holding. This person actually flipped the property and made a nice hefty profit as well. And flip meaning? Purchased, remodeled, and then sold for a profit. Just so people know. Thank you. You're I welcome. I appreciate that. Absolutely. I always just think everybody watches HGTV and they know what a, a flip is. So you might not. And so yeah. Jeff is explaining that for you with your analytical brain. Yeah. I appreciate your brain. Thank you. I appreciate it too. Awesome. I appreciate your artistic abilities. Oh my goodness. So, thank you so much. And I'm super good at telling a story maybe. Absolutely. 100%. Very long winded though. You get a lot of words in there. If you love me at all, start at the end. I think you've said to me a couple times. So we don't have to go down all that, but yeah. Okay. So back to the flip. Um, he purchased the property in Garden Grove for $705,000. It was a very original mm -hmm. three bedroom, two bath home in Garden Grove, very close to Disneyland. And he remodeled the home itself, made it beautiful, move in ready, turnkey. And then he built what is called an ADU, an accessory dwelling unit in the backyard. Otherwise known as a mother-in-law unit or a casita. So essentially an entirely new single family residence on the backyard because the lot size was over 7,200, somewhere around 8,000, 10,000 square feet. So he purchased for 705, remodeled the first, the front house, built a brand new house in the back and put it on the market for 1.2 million. And last we checked had multiple offers at 1.2 million. So it's very possible in this market that it sold for more than 1.2 million. Pretty good profit. Pretty good profit. Yep. And so part of the reason that uh, they were able to do that was the size of the lot um, to put a, a substantial second detached house on that uh, property. You needed a bigger lot and that's one thing that Garden Grove does have a lot of is those oversized lots. So we see a lot of investors coming in and doing exactly that, adding that ADU. Um, because the state of California has changed the laws in regards to the building of those secondary units to try and ease the housing uh, crunch and crisis. And so it allows people to put those um, units on in a timely fashion and make huge profits. And um, my understanding is, you know, the original law allowed for one two bedroom, one bath, 800 square mm -hmm. foot additional dwelling. Now with the overlays, the law allows in a, a ADU, additional dwelling, mm -hmm. as well as a junior ADU. You can also have the ADU attached to the single family residence. Yep. So you could split up an existing residence that it's been added on to. Yep. Um, and that second ADU can be the exact same square footage and footprint as the original house. And then the junior ADU is 800 square feet, two bedroom, one bath. Is that correct? There's some details that we should probably get into in another video. Okay. Because the ADUs can go up to 1200 square foot now and four foot setbacks on the sides and the back. Yeah, it, that's a whole different video. So look for that video in, uh, in our feed and we will get to that. Soon. All the parameters of an ADU yeah. and how essentially you can have three single family residents on one lot. So in Garden Grove, we mm -hmm. see the 10,000 square foot lots or the 22,000 square foot lots. And that's when three residents on one lot would work really well is on that giant yeah. lot. Yep. Um, so that's buying and investing in Garden Grove. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please give us a like and subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.